Good day, Tuala Bears! Today, we are going to discuss a very sensitive topic. Do you trust your Filipina with money? Babe, do you trust me with your money? No, I don't trust no? it. Mm -mm, not one bit. I don't trust her with my money. Um, hey, everybody. How are you guys doing today? Last night, we were going to post this video and... Me and Janice, we got it. I need coffee this morning because the, the topic we're going to cover is not going to be an easy one. We got in a heated discussion last night about this subject that we're going to talk to you about. It's called, uh, Do You Trust Your Filipina With Your Money? And I have to honestly say, at first, when I met Janice, I didn't trust her with money. I didn't trust anybody with my money. I was very scared uh, what to buy and... Uh, if I were to share my money, who to share with, and if I could trust them with my money. So right away, I was like, uh, it took time. And so today, we are going to cover um, some of the pitfalls, some of the warning signs that you should see if you decide to have a relationship with a Filipina here, and to, to watch yourself, to protect yourself, and to watch the safeguards um, so, so you don't end up broke here in the Philippines. You don't end up with nothing. And, uh, and you feel disgruntled and hurt because um, you didn't do it the right way. So we are going to show you what we did in our relationship. And you guys decide for yourself if, if it's something, if, if it's a way you want to go. We can't tell you how to live your life. And even if I give you advice, you may, you may not like that advice and that's fine. But we're just going to show you what I did in my relationship. And let me tell you, the way I did it, there are a lot of things I would have changed. Some things I wouldn't have done what I did when I got here. But um, looking back six years later, after mm -hmm. being with Janice, right? We had our ups and downs and uh, here we are today still together, happy. And things are working out with the money. So we're going to talk to you about um, trusting your Filipina uh, with uh, money. Okay, so babe. Into it. <laughs> Let's get into it. Man, this is a tough subject. Filipinos, Americans alike, you guys are gonna be not happy maybe with some of the things we say, but I feel it has to be said because mm -hmm. I just want to help my fellow Americans and those foreigners that are not American from around the world. We want to help you guys have a better relation better relationships when you get here because it's it, it could be the culture differences mm -hmm. can uh, really hurt you. If you, if you don't uh, safeguard each other, the Filipinas safeguarding themselves and also the Americans and foreigners uh, safeguarding themselves. So let's talk about what I had to go through and what uh, our relationship was like when it came down to money. So when we started dating, it's, it's of course that honeymoon stage, yeah babe? Mm -hmm. um, you meet somebody online and this is how I did it. I met her online. We started uh, LDR, long distance relationship through Skype and, and we're talking every night. And then, uh, you know, uh, this happens a lot uh, as far as relationships with foreigners and Filipinas. And so you decide to take the trip to the Philippines. You take the trip to the Philippines. You meet your Filipina. She's the most beautiful woman you ever seen. Man, you just have stars in your eyes. You guys are just in love. You are in that what we call Kalig mm -hmm. stage. We call it Kalig, which is love struck. <laughs> love struck. I love that word Kalig. Kalig means that you're love struck. And so you are love struck. We understand that. We were there. Um, as a matter of fact, I think the first first or second time I came here to meet Jadis, I had tears in my eyes. I was trying to, to not cry because I was like, man, I didn't want to leave. And I was just so love struck, you know. I, we and myself, uh, we understand where, where you guys are at. We were there. And so that first year, um, I couldn't stay away from Janice. I couldn't. Um, <laughs> so every few months, I had a lot of vacation at the time on the books. And so I, I was taking a lot of time off uh, every few months coming to see her. So I would see her and not just her. It's important that you meet her family. And, and it's very important. So I would come here, see her, meet her family. She had a daughter. So we had planned to uh, meet her daughter. 
I had scheduled a trip just for all three of us. Um, we were in Cebu. We spent time together and got to meet her and just spent a whole lot of time that first year. And then so after my vacation ran out and there was no more vacation time, right? So mostly everything was LDR. And so after a while, after dating, I decided, you know what, this is it, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the leap. We're, we're, we're going to move together and I'm gonna come to the Philippines. And so that's what I decided. So Janice has something for you. She, she um, was given some advice from some family and friends. Mm -hmm. And we, I, wanted, I wanna share with you guys some of the advice that her family and friends, before I tell you the rest of our story. Um, so what is some of the advice that your family and friends yeah, so gave you? So those are unsolicited advice <laughs> <laughs> that I uh, I had that they gave me. Okay. So first is oh they're so excited I was uh, dating a foreigner yeah and then so they are giving me advice like you should go to his country. So. So since I was working at the time, you know, they were giving her advice mm -hmm. like, you know, why don't you just go over there? Yeah. And, and, and you're probably telling us like, oh, how does this relate to money? It does, because mm -hmm. if she were to come with me to America, which she, we had planned by at first coming on a K-1 visa, which changed. So she was going to come, our original plan, she was going to come and, and then uh, she was going to live in America. So they gave her advice first, come mm -hmm. to America because why? Because uh, when uh, I'll be in America, then I will be able to work and then send money to my family. So see where that's going? So she was going to come to America and still send money back to the family, which is very common. A lot of Filipinos who live in America, they send money back to their families. So there you go. That's, that's the first advice you got. So let me ask you this, babe. So you got some more advice. If I'm the old guy and decided, which eventually what we did mm -hmm. is I moved to the Philippines and then um, I didn't want to bring you to America. I was coming here to retire. So what was the advice they gave you when I got here? Um, have a business. Have a business. And uh, go buy house and lot. There you go. So um, why why do you think that was the case? Why did they why did they want you to? Well, I think it's for security. For security. And for uh, right. uh, business right. like flow of money right, on right. the way. That's understandable. So I will be secured. That's understandable. Mm -hmm. And so that is cultural. And that happens a lot here in the Philippines. You know, when uh, a foreigner comes here, uh, the Filip Filipinos believe that a house is one of the best uh, means for security here in the um, for their lives. So what they'll do is, you know, uh, you may they may not even date long, right, mm -hmm. with a foreigner and all of a sudden, they're they're asking for them to purchase a home or build a home and um and to really just put your money right away when you come here to the philippines so yeah. not necessarily is the bad thing because they're looking for security here in the philippines mm -hmm. so they may ask you that um and this it's funny that uh we're talking about this today because i woke up this morning to a comment um a gentleman named Gail. Gail, thank you for this comment. We appreciate it. It's funny he made this comment uh, this morning about the subject we're going to talk about right now because we just had that heated discussion last night. You know, Janice had her Filipino view and I was fighting it with my uh, American view and we were just going at it. So we weren't able to post this video last night. So to continue, so when I did, I finally moved here to the Philippines. And um, the way I did it was, this is how I did it, bad or good, this is how I did it. I finally trusted her after making a, a, a bunch of trips here to the Philippines and seeing Janice and actually being with her for long periods of time. When I was here, went back to America and said, you know, this K-1 is not going to work out. It, it may take a long time. I just want to be with you. I think I'll just retire. So I retired and I ended up here's the first trust i trusted her with money in this regard mm -hmm. i ended up sending her um, sending her some money yeah, right yeah. so i sent her some money to go ahead and get us started to, to go ahead and get an apartment mm -hmm. because i just didn't want to go there cold turkey and not have 
any place to live um, if I was planning to be with her. So I sent her enough money to go get first month's, last month's rent to find an apartment. Mm -hmm. And we ended up moving in. So that was the first trust that we had. So I ended up moving to the Philippines. We already had an apartment set up. We moved in. Then we went together, bought all the furniture, all the mm -hmm. things you need. Don't forget you need the startup. And then, and then once we got settled in, it's still within the first year. You know, you're all excited. You're still in that honeymoon stage. And but I never had that problem with Janice. Janice never came mm -hmm. to me, right? Yeah. She never came to me and said, uh, "We should build a house." Uh, we should maybe she knew that I would probably say no way are you kidding me no way I know the culture already she already knew the culture so um, she never told me uh, let's go build a house or mm -hmm. um, you need to uh, give me money for my family if we're gonna budget money she mm -hmm. never came to me with that I really appreciate that and so I never had to deal with some of the things that a lot of foreigners deal with when they come here to the Philippines I was I was lucky in that regard so when we started our house, I realized that I had taken her away from her job because when I met Janice, she was working, she had an income. And so I asked her, yeah, mm -hmm. if she would uh, quit her career to move in with, with me full time and she agreed. But I had to realize when I finally moved here that now she has no income and we have a daughter and she was at the time in a private school. So it's like, okay, Andrew, who's going to cover all these finances? Who's gonna cover her schooling at a private school? Who's gonna cover everything? So I had to decide that, you know, okay, we're gonna cover her schooling. All the finances will be covered. I'll take care of um, everything, all the money I'll take care of. But I could not leave Janice without any money and just to tell you guys, I don't like that word allowance. For Americans, we know what that word allowance uh, stands for. Allowance is something you give your kid, right? Allowance is something, um, you know, uh, $2 or something a week for your kid, you know, you give them for... Uh, so I didn't want to use that term. That term is used so loosely here in the Philippines when he says, well, I give, I give my Filipino allowance. I didn't want to use that term. So I had to learn to just share my money with Janice in the hopes that she would use it wisely, she would use it for herself. So mm -hmm. um, as far as all the bills, I covered all the bills, yeah? yeah? And then so when it came down to her money, I could not, I could not pay her the salary that, that she had lost um, in, in her job uh, prior to meeting me. And so what I did is I, I just started putting money into her account. Right? Mm -hmm. We just, I just put some money in her account, not a lot, just a little. It started out little. Yes. We're not going to tell you how much, but I put, I didn't have much. So, <laughs> but, but we put a little bit of money in her account and she was allowed to, not allowed, I don't even want to say that. She was able to spend it the way she wanted to, to spend her money. That was like the money that she lost in her wages and actually a lot less than what she was uh, making during the time. So we started out um, just putting it into her bank account and she could spend, so she had her own money. I didn't tell her how to spend her money. That was her money that you know she could spend in, in any way she wanted to. So that's how we started our level with trust. It started out like that. And we've been here already, what, six years already? Mm -hmm. and, six years been and, together. And now our level of trust is like completed. The circle is completed, yo. Uh, we have, um, I trust Janice with pretty much every single penny that I have. And so we have this, um, so what Janice does now and what happens here a lot in the Philippines, if you haven't noticed, is Filipinos are what? They're very what? When it comes to who? Let me ask you that question, babe. Mm -hmm. um, who controls money usually between a husband and a wife here in the Philippines? Uh, usually the wife. The wife. Yes. Mm-hmm. So because here's... they need to budget. Yeah. They need to go to the market. Right. They do everything in the house. They control the finances usually yes. here and in, then in the, the Philippines. Yes, and then the husband, family. yeah, the husband just give them money. 
the, the, the monthly so the, budget. So the <laughs> husband, the husband normally here gets the allowance, and I've seen it. I've seen it. Well, so not all situations he, are like be that, but mostly <laughs> Filipino men will be lucky to get any money from their Filipino wives. They control, they control the money here, and so I like that. I don't like to deal with bills. I don't like to deal with any of that sort. So mm -hmm. I told Janice, look, I'm going to give you the money. You pay all the bills. So she online bill, she pays all, all our bills through online bill pay. She goes to Gcash, pays our electric, pays everything. And she handles all the money. She'll tell me, I need this amount of money, she tells me, for the bills. Mm -hmm. Okay, I give her the money for the bills. And then I give her um, money for, for, for the account so she could put uh, her personal money. And I also put in money for our daughter, Jana, for her college money. So not only is uh, uh, Janice getting money, our daughter, Jana, is getting set up for her college. So the level of trust started to grow. And so we went from uh, a little money in her account and then every, what, few years or so, mm -hmm. we started adding a little bit more. As I was getting my COLA or cost of living allowances, it, uh, money went up. So course I just wanted her to have more security and more money so this one is more what's the word we're talking about what what was that word that Filipinos use for for, for stingy oh kuripot <laughs> kuripot I am very kuripot yes I admit that so she is like my grandmother my grandmother was a woman who you never thought had money she worked a small uh, she worked she worked in the cannery didn't make much money and so my grandmother would uh, penny pinch, uh, penny pinch. She would uh, she would save her money, save her money, and, and make everybody believe she didn't have any money. And then my grandmother would then buy the 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 the, the, the most expensive Maytag washer you could buy, she, and she bought the top of the line. She never skimped on it. So that this one is just like my grandmother. They always say you marry somebody like your parents, and so. Uh, Grandma, she's just like grandma. She saves her money and she's kuripot. Kuripot, I gotta make sure I get that pronunciation right. So, mm -hmm. but there's a good kuripot yes, and then the there's good a kuripot bad. Kuripot and the bad way of being kuripot. Of course, the bad way is that you don't want, you don't want to share. Like, you know, mm -hmm. you know it's for a good cause, but you still don't want to share. Right. So, uh, we don't have a... Uh, uh, an English word in America mm -hmm. to describe the word kuripo because it's a, it's a dual meaning. Mm -hmm. um, when we say the closest to it is stingy, right? But uh, Americans are normally say, "Oh, you're stingy. You just don't want to share." That's pretty much all we use it for. Mm -hmm. But there's a good kuripo mm -hmm. and there's a bad kuripo. Um, the, the good one, the mm -hmm. good way is that you you're kuripo because you wanted to save and mm -hmm. use it for yourself. Right. Yeah, and you can buy whatever you want. Mm -hmm. With that money. And, and so the bad kuripot is when you don't share your money. Yes. So she's the good kuripot. And uh, reminds me of grandma. So with that said, it, it just, uh, it was good to know. And I, and I found out early how she was. When we would go places, Janice would be like, nope, don't buy that. That thing's mm -hmm. too expensive. We can get it cheaper somewhere else. We go to this. And I, I like that. I, it just, man, that was something that, uh, that interests me in her because she, she had that um, stinginess about her. It's like, she's just like grandma, Andrew. That woman's just like grandma. You better, you better get her. So um, that's the kind of woman I believe you guys should look for is the kind of woman that is, is gonna be good with finances, that takes care of their money. And, um, and don't get me wrong. I understand the culture here in the Philippines. I understand that um, Filipinos are looking for security. They really are. But when it comes time to trusting uh, your Filipino, whether it be your, your girlfriend or your wife, take it slow. Mm -hmm. Don't go fast. Don't right away, um, uh, don't right away put money, a whole lot of money into her when you start the relationship. Trust me, we were mm -hmm. there yeah. during that one year, uh, and it's not even one year, it's still six years. We have that kilig uh, towards each other. We have that, we're still love struck. And there's another word we use here called gayuma. Oh, and so <laughs> this one put a gayuma on me, which is yeah, gayuma, you need, American, Americans, foreigners, 
you need to use this word, uh, learn this word, it's called Gayuma. She put a spell on me, a love spell on me. And it's still to this day, it's still strong. Six years in and we're, we're still love struck at, towards each other. But as far as money wise, don't let that Gayuma, don't let that <laughs> love struckness yeah, blind, um, you. blind you from your money. Take care of your money right away. Don't come here and just, I love her, I trust her, I'm gonna give her all my money, I'm gonna build her a house. No, don't do that. Come here, get to meet her, get to meet her family, learn the culture mm -hmm. here in the Philippines. It's a beautiful country, the people are beautiful. And just take your time when it comes yeah. to finances and money. And you, you'll you be better off in the end, right? You won't have any problems. But sometimes foreigners come here, and I'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole, but mm -hmm. sometimes foreigners come here and they start purchasing things and, and, and just, they you know, buying things that, you know, lavishly. Don't do that. Come here, get yourself an apartment or, you know, you can't own a house, but just get yourself an apartment here. Live, live with your girlfriend, get to know her. Mm -hmm. And because she may not even be the right one. Yeah. And then you've spent mm -hmm. all this money on this, uh, on her and uh, for nothing. So come here, take your time, get to meet your Filipina. Mm -hmm. Fall in love with her and the love will grow in time and the trust will grow in time. Your The, the money uh, will start out where you kind of just are holding on to it a little bit. And then after a while, you realize that, man, she's she's not really spending too much money. She's saving a lot of this money. And, uh, and then you'll be like, man, you know what? You start giving her more and then all of a sudden it's like, here, you handle the money. I don't want to deal with it. And Janice handles all our money. All I do is just send for it in America and we're good so we hope that kind of mm -hmm. helped you guys in your journey to coming here to the Philippines as a single man or female either or and you want to meet somebody here in the Philippines and uh, we just want to tell you guys you know good luck in your endeavor to uh, fall in love and, uh, mm -hmm. and enjoy each other because uh, it, it could be very difficult um, for both parties, both sides, both cultures, if you're not spending your money wisely. So we just wanna say, the question is what again, don't, <laughs> do you trust do you your, trust your, uh, your Filipina with money? It, yes. And the answer is to us, it takes time. Mm -hmm. it, it's not, you know, what do they say? That don't saying, rush. Don't rush. What is that mm -hmm. saying, babe? Uh, Rome isn't built in a day. Wasn't built in a day. Yeah. So take your time when you come here to the Philippines, mm -hmm. and we hope that helped you a little bit. Um, we may we may not have all the answers, and and you may not like some of the things we said, but mm -hmm. through our experience and what we've learned from our from each other, mm -hmm. it worked for us, and we mm -hmm. hope it worked for you. Yes. And to add to that, this, the disclaimer for my fellow Filipina, mm -hmm. not all Filipinas are bad. There are bad, there are good. That's right. Mostly good. That's right. Yeah. So, uh, get rid of that, um, that, I don't know, the stigma or what, I don't know the word to use, but don't, don't, don't come here with a pre, pre, uh, I don't know. Thinking that, uh, this I'll just say it this way. Don't come here thinking that, oh, oh, a lot of these Filipinas are just trying to scam you from yes, your money. So. And they, they just, when you get here, mm -hmm. they just want you to, to just buy them houses, buy them, buy them, buy them, buy them, buy them. No, they're not mm -hmm. like that. Yes, we are not like that. And so most are just looking for a man to love mm -hmm. them and give them security. There's nothing wrong with that. And that is here in the culture. That's part of the Filipino culture here. So we hope that this uh, video helps you guys. Yeah, enlighten them. <laughs> enlighten you guys of what it's like here in the Philippines and, and our journey and how it worked out for us. We love each other. And um, let me tell you, it was not easy. I didn't know the rules and how to, uh, how much to share my, my money with my, my uh, now wife. But uh, it was a long journey and it took time to get to where trust I have with uh, Janice now but we thank you guys we don't want to make this video long it's already 24 minutes I just looked at the timer but we just want to share that with you and we thank you guys for your comments and your concerns um, we just want to say thank you 
is um and we hope that uh this helped in any way mm -hmm. babe do you have anything else uh thank you for watching guys i hope you like our video and um uh, uh, follow us or um that's right subscribe to our channel that's right and help us grow and help us grow thank you guys uh for your time we appreciate it man sorry the video was so long <laughs> <laughs> our videos get long but thank mm -hmm. you guys we appreciate it Bye-bye.